Hello, welcome back to AG Engineering. I've got another Norton head on the mill today. Um, this one's got a horrible half inch Whitworth thread where the head stood, head steady stud should be. Um, it should be a 3 8 BSF. I think it is. Yeah, 3 8 BSF. So we've got a a tap and a bolt as an example there I've already done a little bit of work on this I've milled away there was a, a bad a really bad bit there you can still see the remains of some of it here um, so I've milled that away and that's just right now for fitting a washer into there and we're on centre there with the thread so I'm going to make a little adapter reduce the sleeve sort of thing half inch width on the outside 3 8 bsf on the inside now i've been sort of umming and ahhing whether to do this in steel or alley or stainless and what i've opted for i've got a bit of aluminium i'm going to do it with that and leave a little bit of a flange on it there that brings it back up level with that so it can be uh, be blasted or whatever I didn't want to chop this out and try and weld it up because we've got the rocker spindle shafts bores under there and I didn't want to go any bigger with the thread on there because we're already well into the, um, the casting on the inside. So I've also set up a little bit of um, aluminium bar in the lathe ready so I'll take you over to that in a moment. Our washer is 870, one and a half, 872, that sort of region. So I'll turn the OD down to that. One inch. down now, that diameter down to half inch. Twenty-two thousand to go. Yeah. 
Right, I've cleaned up um, the end there. I've just put a slight chamfer on it. I've took it back a little tiny bit. I didn't quite have enough material there to, to part off. And if I bring this into shot better, we've got a tailstock die holder. Give you a little bit better view of that. That's a sliding die holder. We've got a half inch Whitworth die in there. Onto that. And for doing little short bits of thread like this, these are just fine. So we'll bring that up closer there, lock the tail stock. And I'm going to do this by hand. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to switch the power off on the lathe. Just to be sure. And I'll put this, the gear, into sort of a neutral. Like in, There isn't specifically a neutral on these gearboxes. But if you put the, uh, the gear selector vertical, you can just spin that without the gears being engaged. And we'll bring in a bit of cutting oil. There we go. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move the camera around a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Hopefully that's a bit better shot of what's going on. There's a bit of cutting fluid. Bring the die up. And then I'm just turning the chuck by hand. And putting a little bit of forward pressure on that till we get a, it started to cut, which is there, and then it's just like using a normal tap handle. You can do these under power if you should choose to. But on this little short thread in aluminium, I'm quite happy with it just by hand like this. cleaner and there's our half inch thread for our adapter there. okay I'll move the camera again and we'll set up for uh, drill and tap in the center okay put the lathe back on again back into gear properly uh, we've got a center drill we'll just center drill that Swap that over. For an 8.3 millimeter T 
tapping drill there. Put a uh, three eighth twenty tap in there, just in the drill chuck. Again, we'll knock the power off. Into a neutral. And I'm just going to start that off by hand. And I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on the tail stock at the back there little nip on there I'll just run down it with the bottoming tap Okay, I'm just going to recheck the um, the length there. Now I can take a little bit off if I need to, and then we'll look at parting this off. Oh, we only need the uh, about a thick to that washer on top of there. Right, we only need about the thickness of that washer on there, so... Part that off at that somewhere, and back a fraction. Right, that a bit. Get ready to catch it on a an Allen key there. So now we have our little thread adapter. I'll just uh, deburr them bits, and then we'll uh, we'll get it uh, we'll get it in there. I put a slight chamfer on there, just to allow for the um, the little sort of radius part at the back end of that. I've mounted the little thread repair piece onto a, a bolt with a lock nut. Now because we're not doing steel and no steel content we'll use some activator. Right, Loctite SF7649. Give that a little spray and that a little spray. Uh, 
and let that just go off a fraction. And we've got Loctite 680, um, high strength retainer. And put a bit of that on. This is the thicker grade stuff. We've got some 620 in the kit as well. Just put a little bit of that, a few blobs of that on here and there. A little bit on the back. I'll put a little bit in the hole. It should be taken down with the thread as we tighten it down. Right, spread about. And just make sure that's yeah, that's going in nicely. Quite a coarse thread in Whitworth. We've got our spanner. And our lock nut. And we'll nip that up. Then release the lock nut. And unscrew or insert. Check that's seated down nice, which it is. Well, there we have it, and that's nice and flush with the head. There, well, that's that massively oversized thread repaired. Now we could have done this with steel, stainless steel, phosphor bronze whatever you wanted to use I chose to use dural actually it's dural bar in this instance just remember we did originally just have a thread into aluminium as they are so once that's gone off um, that should be fine and it's not a not a particularly ugly repair or anything so uh, that's that one I'm going to uh, just have a clear up on the bench and um, we'll have a look at the next uh, next jobs we've got as well. Okay, we've got a bit of a collection of Norton heads um, going on here. I've still got jobs I'm trying to catch up with from a while ago. So that's the one we've just done, our, uh, our little thread repair on, on there. That's that one out of the way. I've got a couple of them there for, as I've said in previous videos, for exhaust port threads that I need to experiment with. Um, and I've got one for a valve guide replacement where the valve guide bore is oversized. So uh, we'll see whether we feature that one in a video in, uh, in the near future or not. Um, I've got to have a look at that, see how I, how I set it up. Um, it's had, previously it's had, it's got a bronze valve seat in there. Um, so it's had some work done in the past as well. Um, so uh, yeah, that one may be coming up in the near future. I'll see how the video turns out on that. So uh, for now, um, till the next time. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and uh, hit that like button. Thank you.